belly, belly in there now. It's that big mama right here. How about seven four? That's that big mama right there, baby. Big fish Frank, baby. Yeah, let's go. Some credit. It's two fish. You got them now? No, I got grass. Open water fish. That's nice. <laughs> Somebody tried to take it off. Didn't take, I couldn't check the size or anything or know how much junk you were in. Nice, nice fish. Nice fish. I know. Well, hey, the big part is that's number five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you know how to adjust your game. Uh -huh. so you don't worm out of there, huh? Yep. What's up everybody hey i just want to give you guys a quick recap on my week on the harris chain man i had an awesome week on the harris chain um i finished seventh out of 200 plus boats and uh just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on my week the baits i used my setup um but it was a great week um basically i'm gonna get right into it man um I was doing two things, two things. And basically I was flipping grass um, and pretty much just kind of um, and throwing a chatterbait, flipping grass and throwing a chatterbait. But the area that I was fishing was key. This time of the year, Harris Chain, the fish, one thing I can say about the Harris Chain, um, Harris Chain fish are very smart, very intelligent. Um, and you got to kind of pay attention to detail when you're fishing the Harris Chain because it's just a simple change as switching from a quarter ounce weight to a half ounce weight or from a half ounce to a one ounce. You know, it's the subtle changes and adjustments you have to make when you're fishing Harris Chains because these fish are very smart, right? So 
for me, the adjustment was big because you had the wind coming out of the north, I'm sorry, out of the south one day, and then the next day, which was Sunday, the makeup day, um, the direction of the wind changed and the temperature changed. So now the fish going to move and transition, either going to move out further or they're going to move in shallow. But the area I was fishing, the fish were actually spawning there. So on Saturday, um, basically, you know, I start off in the morning, I would start off with a chatterbait. This was my ticket right here. This was the deal for me right here. This is a, a half ounce chatterbait. Um, this is a Z-Man chatterbait. Throwing it on a 7.9, 7 7.9. This is a 13 fishing, 7.9, 13 fishing. Um, like I said to you guys earlier, just got on with 13 fishing. I love this rod. Um, I actually caught my eight pound on this rod. And um, when that fish bit, I mean, the rod just pretty much loaded up. And the fish hooked itself, really. Um, but when you got a nice sturdy rod, it's very important when, you, uh, when you're fishing the chatterbait. You want a rod that has some bend to it. Okay, you don't want a stiff rod when you're throwing a chatterbait. You want a rod that has a little bend to it. So basically, you know, I was covering water, throwing the chatterbait, around the outside grass lines, around docks. Um, but the key was pepper grass, eelgrass, hydrilla. Those were the key things, just dragging it. Um, I'll be posting a video of this tournament, so you'll see how I was working at chatterbait. Um, but when I wasn't throwing the chatterbait, I was flipping so I was flipping and as you guys heard I broke my flipping sticks okay so but uh but I was doing a lot of flipping I was flipping a seven six uh, flipping a, a half ounce tungsten half ounce tungsten and this bait right here was the key this is uh the bruiser blade the big stick okay I was flipping a June bug blue tip June blood blue tip by bruiser baits so y'all have to check them out. But this is the this is the bait right here. That's the ticket right there. The key to over 30 plus fish that I caught on Saturday. The majority of them came on this. Just flipping the grass. Um, but I would alter between the half ounce and the one ounce weight. And I would also alter between baits. So I would throw the black and blue sometime, blue tip or the June bug with the blue tip. Or I would switch it up with a creature bait. But this was the deal right here. This is a quantum. Uh, this is a 7-4 um, quantum medium heavy rod. And then when I got around the docks, I downsized my weight to a quarter ounce. I flipped the same bait, right? But a quarter ounce tungsten. And um, I would flip this around the docks. I didn't want a heavy weight around the docks. You don't really need that. So I was flipping something a little subtle around the docks. I caught a bunch of fish doing that as well. So basically those were my setups. The Chatterbait, the Cinco was my one-two punch. Um, again, I just want to thank everybody for watching in, uh, watching um, through the uh, online, cheering me on. I appreciate all the comments. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, just asking everybody to continue to follow my YouTube channel at Frank Mitchum Fishing. Um, I will be posting more videos, um, but I will be posting this video of this tournament real soon. Um, probably won't do it tonight, but I will do it by the end of the week. But um, got some real good catches on there. Um, got that eight pounder that I caught. So um, so it's going to be good. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on how my week was. Like I said, I finished seventh. Got a real, real, real good check. Right. And um, but, you know, I took took something from this tournament. I learned a lot. So, again, this is Big Fish Frank. I'm signing off, and I just want to thank everybody for the support um, and continue to uh, share, like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, peace.